Hey everybody, this is uh, Michael from Barton Musical Circuits, and I am demoing for you today some new uh, 4HP size Eurorack modules. So these are just jacks and LEDs on uh, all of these, and uh, I'm going to make a little patch for you to show them uh, what they can do. Uh, the first one is number 66. This is a 2 input, 6 output, or 2x3 uh, buffer. So uh, input here, input there, and then each has three outputs, and then uh, input two is normalized to input one. And this works with any kind of signal. Um, and uh, yeah, some of you might have noticed that I released a 65 and a 67 uh, without a 66 in the last batch of uh, circuits I released. And uh, there was just some issues with the PCB that I couldn't release, which uh, I, I hate to throw out a, a batch of PCBs, but uh, I had to do it that time. Uh, and it was my fault, too. Anyways, uh, the next one is uh, number 70. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Next one is 71. My one looks a little like a zero. Uh, we'll go to 70 in a different video. 71 is a dual latch. Uh, this is what's called an SR latch. So uh, S stands for set. R stands for reset. So when a gate goes into the set input, the output goes high, and it stays high until uh, a gate goes into the reset input. Uh, and so you can... Uh, use this to control a gate's length by using uh, two separate triggers or two separate timing elements. And uh, then the last one is going to be four input, three output logic gates. Uh, I have an AND chip in here right now, but this also works with OR, XOR, NOR, NAND, uh, any of those uh, CMOS chips that have the same pinout. Uh, and so you have uh, inputs one and two that go to output one, two, inputs three, four, go to output three, four, and then the summation of these two outputs goes to uh, the output all, which for ands and ors, that works pretty logically. Um, but with your nors and xnors and things like that, it can sometimes be a little bit strange that uh, this will not be on when maybe it seems like it should. Um, but yeah, and so the patch I was going to show you uh, is going to be uh, doing some kind of rhythmic uh, turning off and on of the... Um, the latches, uh, and then anding that. So let's just set that here, and I'm just going to pick some points. This is my uh, uh, this is the uh, binary uh, counter right there that I'm using as like kind of a clock source. Uh, so this will it'll be on for a few, and then off for a few, and then. We'll take that output and send it to input one of the AND. And then we'll also take the uh, an output from the buffer that has, the buffer has plugged into it uh, just our LFO uh, straight up. And then we'll take, and so now you can see this is lighting up, and it should stop lighting up for a little bit. And so you have this like mostly on, but takes a little short break uh, kind of a sound. And here I'll plug something in there so you can hear it. So changing uh, where we set the reset changes how long that kick will be on. And we can set up another one too with our other available uh, outputs from this binary counter and see what kind of a pattern we get. And again, we'll and it. Uh, I think I have a, a bad cable or a loose jack somewhere that you heard it kind of jumping <laughs> a second ago. We'll take a different timed output for the AND. 
Uh, I'm not used to having so many uh, like small <laughs> modules so tightly together that I'm, I'm still getting used to like having to uh, kind of fish the, <laughs> the jacks in there because it gets pretty dense uh, when you're working with this many um, oh I'm sorry uh, this many small ones like this I already had a here we go And then let's rearrange these jacks a little and just at random and see what happens with our pattern. Anyways, uh, this has probably gone on long enough, but I wanted to show a little bit more of a patch and not just have it be kind of a dry uh, explanation to let you see more of these things uh, in action, just because these modules are, uh, there's, they do very little on their own. They're, they're, you need context to see how they work. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching.